Shane Sabolski while heading into game number four. These two teams are certainly very familiar with one another. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Slides the paddle in there and puts it away. Slides it across. Here he is, shot inside. Cut grab by Sapkowski. to Severson. Here's a shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. A player should never be left alone in this slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Puck is dropped, he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he sends it across to Line. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Puts it in deep. Columbus takes possession along the wall. Directs it on over to Wierenski. Look at this down the right wing, they're on the attack. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Canadians have it now. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Grabbed along the board by Cooley. What a steal in his own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Puts it on net, and that goes off a stick. Taken by Provorov. Moves the puck. From the point, they take control of it. He was locked in there. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. The Blue Jackets gain possession along the wall. Some great thievery in the open ice. Battle along the board. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears up. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Cooley. A great play to sidestep the puck. Denied that one. He hits one of his own teammates with that shot. On the redirect, and the goalie somehow gets a piece of that one. And look at this, they turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Look at this, they've got the cycle at full effect now. Oh, big hit on the play. Moves it to Jenner, and that's knocked away by Anderson. On the left side, he moves it up ahead. Jabs the puck away. Cooley's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles and he's off balance and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Quick feed to Suzuki. Poked away at center by Harris. Columbus gains a hold of possession. Takes a bump but hangs on. Whacks it into the offensive zone. The Canadians play it along the boards. Fires it, and he stags that one with the gloves. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. More than half the frame has been played here. We've still got zeros on the board. Suzuki's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Savard. From the slot, his shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. You can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. Takes the feed. Fantastic save! Sends it over to Slavkovsky. The Canadians move it in. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Works it across to Goudreau. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. Handles the pass. Tosses it to Doc. Slides it across. Here's a chance in front. Taken along the wall by Doc. Makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Five, 
Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. Gaining momentum along the wing. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. And he's ridden off the puck. Quick pass to Line A. Great heads up play to poke it away at the offensive end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Takes the shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And the puck's knocked loose. And that'll free up the puck. Puck picked up by Pacetta. Moves inside. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises. Oh, scores! What a shot! Oh, James, these are the types of goals that everyone loves because they provide energy. It's determination. It's being relentless on the puck. And he's falling to the ice, and he still manages to get a stick on it. No one knows he has the wherewithal to shoot the puck and still get it off, including the tender, and that's why it goes by. Montreal's got to be feeling good about getting that goal here late in the first, Cheryl. Yeah, I like the energy that they created for their bench even before the goal, James. They started to pressure, and that's something that I noticed. There was a change late in the first. Get a little physical there with that collision. Moves the puck along the half wall. Passes it over. Dishes it off. And there's the save. Montreal's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net. And they lead here late in the first. Jenner's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Hammers it on net. Denies him! And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Evans is all around the puck, and the puck is all around him. Look at it whichever way you want, but when you have a point streak going, it tends to follow you around. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Quick pass across to Jenner. Denies him with the save. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Anytime you're in the dying minutes of a period, you have to maintain your focus, especially when you're shorthanded. It's all about creating momentum and killing the penalty. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. The Habs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Shuts them down. And the puck's kicked free. The Blue Jackets can kill off a few extra seconds now. Moves it quickly over to Doc. Gains control of the puck here at the line. From the point, wicked stop by the goalie who got his club out to knock it away. Big time stop there. Oh my goodness, he's on fire and goal. They got a face off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James, so the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. And some textbook body contact there. Big stop just as time expires in the period. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Columbus wins the draw here in their penalty killers. They go right back to work. Gets the puck in deep. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Feeds it over. And he makes the save with ease. And 
another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. The Blue Jackets win the draw here in their own end. He grabs the puck here at the point. Slides it across. Stop with ease. The Blue Jackets move to the offensive zone and serves up a little knock on the play. Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference, and you don't. It's frustrating, and it's a real momentum killer. Slides the puck over. Sends it in deep. The Habs gain possession. Slides the puck across to line A. And he takes the pass. Oh, that's one way to make space for yourself. Lumps the puck into the offensive zone corner. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Here's a short pass to Goudreau. The Blue Jackets carry it along the wall. Oh, club save by Montembeau. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save, no rebound to boot. The Canadians continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Montreal's taking possession in their own end. Takes the feed. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. And now he passes it to Goudreau. Moves the puck into the D zone. Dishes it to Evans. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Harvey Pinard. That knocks him off the puck. Columbus has it in their own zone. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Quick feed to Harvey Pinard. They score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of a momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Well, you can see the coach on the bench after that last goal, and he's certainly not happy with the effort that his team is displaying. You can see the feedback that's coming to athletes, and he wants to see a difference out there. He needs someone to make an impact. The Habs continue to dictate the play here tonight. They've now gone up by two in the second. Yeah, their play is reflective on the scoreboard, and that's not always the case, but they've had the majority of the shots in this one, James. They continue to put pucks to the net. I expect that number to go up. Columbus has it against the half wall. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. Here's the official call. The Habs are getting penalized for slashing.
defender you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control it makes your life so much easier. Montreal's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. The Canadians take possession here inside the offensive zone. And a great save! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Fires it into the offensive zone. Angles it over to Sillinger. And a smart hits up play to poke that away by Suzuki. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. It almost looked as if he was gonna get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. Here in the back half of this period, 2-0 is the score. The Habs win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Barrett. Good use of the body to knock him off the puck. Feeds it down low. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. The Canadians gain control of the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. And he takes the feed. Here we go, pucks in deep. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Gooley. Slides the puck to Line. Montreal's got it along the wall. And that's stopped away by Severson. Can hang on to the puck after taking it off. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Takes the bank pass feed. Great vision to see that stretch pass. The Habs have the puck now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to Anderson. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. This is a fantastic save, James, and he makes it look easy. He's bobbing, he's weaving, trying to find the puck. He outbattles the players in front of him to make it. And they do it again! That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed and he tracked it perfectly. And he takes the feed. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Shekai. Uses the force on that hit. Passes it over to Caulfield. Gain momentum up along the side. Lord dishes it off. Denies him in close. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square with the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Slides the puck across to Savard. And now it's to Slavkovsky. Takes the pass. The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. And here's a pass to Corelli. Slides the puck ahead to Sillinger. Poked away in the defensive end. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Gallagher. Takes a shot. Stones him in front. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck. It's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Montreal's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. Plays the puck into that play. Takes a shot. Big save just as time runs out. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice.
coaches have shared their final messages. Players are on the ice, and period number three is coming up. And this one's underway here in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Blue Jackets need to change their mindset in the third period and kind of flip the switch to attack mentality. This game is still close, many thanks to their goaltender. And now they're going to find a way to generate some offense. When you're trailing, you got to take some risks. You have to beat your defenders, and you got to find a way to get through the middle of the ice. And when you get the chance, you've got to convert. Coach is just loving these types of shifts. A lot of pressure and effort in this one. Montreal's got the lead early in this third period. They have been a high volume shooting squad tonight. The Canadians win the draw on their own end. Up along the wing. Big hit and that frees up possession. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Feeds it over. Now a quick pass to Provorov. Here's a shot. And that goes off course off a of body. Can't keep a hold of it. Here he comes. Here on a breakaway. Oh, to the eyes of the play. Oh, and this is a great play by the team to anticipate and get across to make that save. Lots of time left in this period. And it's a 2-0 hockey game. Nice job coming up his opponent. Receives the pass. Cuts to the front. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Moves it quickly over to top. Montreal's gained the line and into the zone. Slides the puck across. Boom! Wow! What a thunderous hit there! Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. There's a great cross saved by Montembeau. Yeah. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Montreal's got a 2 0 lead. Good use of the body on the play. 
They fight for it along the boards. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Moves it to Suzuki. And a stiff break setup. Scooped up along the wall by Wierenski. On the attack along the boards. Slides it across. Comes up with a monster save in front. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Montreal's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The Canadians take possession off the faceoff. Quick feed to Savard. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Moves it over to Matheson. Montreal's got the puck against the wall. Scrum ensues along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Duck. The goaltender has to be able to anticipate the play, and he does just that. Gets square to the shooter in the low slot and makes the save. Columbus on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Yurichek. And that one's turned aside. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Montreal's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. Won the faceoff. He carries the puck up along the wing. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. Pass to Provorov. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Shot comes up with the stop. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Handles the puck. Here's a chance. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Montembeau. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. The final moments of this period, we've got a 2 1 game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Montembeau's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. This is a face off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. And they win the offensive zone face off, and here we go. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Montreal's got the puck. Quick pass to Suzuki. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Great save by the goaltender on that one with the stick. And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Great save by the goaltender on that redirect. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. And it's a quick pass to Goudreau. Here's a chance. Quick shot. That's good by Montembeau. And they'll cover it up, forcing the stoppage of play. A critical draw. Chase off a twig in front. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. With possession along the wall. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Line's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Montreal's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. That is a lonely cage at the other end of the ice here, Cheryl. That certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this face-off. Columbus wins the draw. 
Montreal's got the puck. And now he's over to Harvey Pinard. To the scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Canadians with that empty netter should seal the deal here, barring a complete, absolute, epic disaster, right? I would say that, James, and, and that was perfectly executed, I might add. The empty netter, that's the only time I'd ever get one. But when you look at that and the lead that they now have, it would have to be disastrous to give it up. Merce Mickens is on the bench. Scores to the empty net. Trevor, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. Empty net goal went in. Everyone on the bench and on the ice knew that that put the game to bed. Montreal's had a lot of success tonight. Other scoring chances and look at the result here late in this third period. And they win that draw center. Moving into the attacking zone. Hooked away in the offensive zone by Ben Terry. And with the victory, they now extend the series to a 3-1 lead. They can taste elimination next. Well, yeah, they can taste it coming off of that last victory. I mean, they have put their opponent on their heels, no question about it, where they had an opportunity to claw their way back into the series. Instead, they have a huge, distinct advantage right now, and that's what they got to do. They've just got to take advantage of what they've got and finish it off. That'll do it from ringside here this evening. From all of us here at EA Sports, my name is James Sabalski. Playoff hockey is simply the best, and we'll see you at the next postseason game. Cheers.